Okay guys, this is a walkthrough of the new tutorial that has just been implemented in Game Update 9. Uh, I'll do a separate video about the Game Update soon. Um, hopefully just after this one. Now anybody can go through this. Um, whether you're an old player or not, everybody will go through it as soon as they make a new character. It will be the first thing they do. But if you haven't, you just go down to support and go to tutorial and it'll take you through. Now there are voiceovers in this so I won't say anything while it's on. But it gives you a good idea of what well a fair idea of what to expect as soon as you come into the planet side game. Welcome private this is a virtual reality training area designed to get you up to speed on combat on Araxis. There are no consequences in this area, so it's alright to make mistakes and take as much time as you need to get acclimated. Use your movement keys to move forward, backward, and sidestep to the left or to the right. Use the mouse to turn and to look up and down. The jump key is used to hurdle battlefield obstacles. But jumping greatly reduces weapon accuracy. As you see with this map, they have done a great deal of optimization. And you know, up to the graphics a hell of a lot inside this, just because it's more or less a single player mode. So they can do a lot more with the graphics than they could beforehand. The crouch key can be used to duck down and make yourself a smaller target. Yep, a door in planet side. The only one you will ever see, and it's broken. Holding down the sprint key while moving will make you run faster. But you cannot use any weapons while sprinting, and it takes longer to pull out your weapon after you stop. Is there heat going across there? Then? Definitely pulled all the stops for this level design, like, looks beautiful. This gravity pad lets you move up and down, and do it quickly. Simply step on the pad, and you will ascend or descend in the direction of the flowing particles. Uh, a second note to make, these markers they're using for this, apparently... Um, who was it? Jimmy Wizenhunt maybe, or even Higby said that these are what's going to be used in the mission system whenever it comes out. Uh, these markers will be able to place on things, which is quite good. Big arrows painted on the floor, so you can't miss where you're going. Capture and hold these points to take control of the region. A successful uplink must be maintained in order to complete the transfer of control. So lock those points down. This energized shield has IFF properties that only allow authorized infantry units to pass through. Nice big yellow boxes now around things Push to the show even better. To show you what's going on. Victory is our tradition. Use the interact key for interacting with most objects in the world. The most common object when you interact with a terminal. Your view will switch to a menu of options available at the terminal. Click the green resupply button on the left side of the terminal menu to equip your selected loadout and resupply all of your ammunition. Click the green resupply button on the left side of the terminal menu to equip your selected loadout and resupply all of your ammunition. Ah, 
and it seems to be bugged again. Oh, now it's supposed to go on. Click the green resupply button on the left side of the terminal menu to equip your selected loadout and resupply all of your ammunition. To change classes, interact with an equipment terminal, oh, then go. select the class you'd like to use on the left side of the menu. To equip that class, click the resupply button. Try changing classes to a combat medic. Your weapons are just as dangerous to your teammates as they are to the enemy. So it is essential you learn how to identify friend from foe. By default, your teammates all have friendly blue triangle indicators above their heads, and their names show up when you point your crosshair near them. Enemy players do not have any indicators above them unless they are spotted. Press the spot key while you have an enemy in your crosshair to mark them for yourself and for nearby friendly players. Now to note, mine has a red one above it because I have faction colours on uh, on my map and on my troops. Um, where is it again? Settings, isn't it? See a minor empire Press colours. Press the spot key while you have an enemy in your crosshair to mark them for yourself and for nearby friendly players. Infiltrator in the area. Spotted a hostile engineer. Enemy infiltrator spotted. The simplest form of shooting is hip fire, where you shoot without careful aiming. The area between your crosshair ticks shows where your shots will land when you fire your weapon. This area is referred to as your cone of fire. Each shot fired also has recoil, which is a small kick that will move your crosshair and increase your cone of fire slightly. Try shooting some targets using hip fire. Also aim down the sights of your weapon by right-clicking on your mouse. This will greatly improve accuracy, but penalize your movement. Headshots will do more damage to your target, especially if you are using a high-powered sniper rifle. Try shooting some targets while aiming down sights. You will automatically reload your weapon when you empty the magazine. You can reload before the magazine is empty using the reload key. You can switch weapons and items by pressing your weapon slot keys, or by scrolling the mouse wheel. Switching to your pistol is faster than reloading your primary weapon. The use ability key is used by some classes to activate their special class defining abilities such as the cloaking device for the infiltrator, the shield for heavy assault, or the group heal for the combat medic. Take some time to get comfortable with shooting, and familiarize yourself with your weapons and classes. Obviously, whenever, the first, whenever you first start the game, you want to have the modified weaponry that I have. Well, these are all obviously um, cert bought and station cast, like a big pistol there. You'll have the standard weaponry, as a soldier will have when you first start into the game. Teleporters provide quick transportation within the facility. Step on the pad to begin the process. Death is inevitable, but there are many ways to get back into the fight. Every friendly facility has a protected spawn room where you can prepare before moving out. Sunderer vehicles can also be equipped with a mobile spawn capability. You can also redeploy back to a friendly facility using the redeploy mechanism. Use redeploy to respawn at this facility. Also note, whatever keys you have, um, if you're uh, an old player coming back to this game, whatever keys you have, 
uh, changed before you've even started will show up on that, so it will do the correct keys for you. Use redeploy to respawn at this facility. I'm doing it, shut up. Warp terminals have a globe icon and are marked on your mini map and heads up display. Warp gate terminals allow long range transportation for infantry units. It allows a soldier to travel to any linked location in an instant. Every continent where we have a foothold, you will find a warp gate facility with access to all vehicles and terminals. You can also use instant action to get right into the fight. This will initiate a short countdown and take you to a fight where you're needed. You can access instant action anywhere by pressing your instant action key. To complete your training, use instant action to get into the fight. You're a soldier of the Terran Republic. It is a rundown of new Victory tutorial. is our tradition. Good luck. And then war will commence. So guys, a new tutorial isn't too bad. Um, gives you a good bit of information. I quite like it. It is, um, you know, it is giving useful tips to get anybody started in the game. No, I actually want me to armourish. <laughs> Um, it is very handy for a new player to come in. It'll give them more of an idea of what's going on in the world when they get in there. Um, make them a bit more useful on the background instead of coming in and getting shot and getting bored. Really don't know why they're getting shot, what to do, etc. Um, so hopefully you like this video. If you do, please like it. Please subscribe to YouTube to get more updates. Uh, more gameplay footage. Also, go if you're watching this on YouTube, go to my Twitch channel. We'll get uh, live streams of gameplay footage of all the games shown in this end uh, screen splash here, plus some other games that are coming out in the future, like uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, Dragon's Prophet, etc. Um, I'll also be playing and streaming them. Thanks.